Ladies and gentlemen, it is the year of the fire. Not only for TCG, DLCG, but for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. In today's video, I got you guys a brand new deck. That one card literally equals 10 negates. Oh, Sam, everything is 10 negates, bro. It is 10 negates, okay? Tommy and Timmy, just... just Today, I'm coming to you guys with the Year of the Fire Infernoble deck for you guys to check out today in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. The deck is absolutely insane. And last week, Konami dropped one of the greatest selection packs of all time, introducing some of the craziest Tier 0 decks here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. In today's video, I'll be covering you guys the introduction, showcasing you guys new cards that are coming out for the brand new Infernoble deck, the deck profile, of course, combos. And last but not least, we're going to hop into Master Duel Ranked to showcase you guys on what this deck can do here in ranked master duel and today i got you guys one of the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh player of all time Pac, here to join me without further ado let's begin this deck is insane bro honestly tier zero no cap oh wow tier wow. zero i said it wow tier zero. <laughs> okay you said it you said it i said it bro this deck guys if it was legal in the tcg if it sold it and promethean princess was legal in the tcg today right now you would catch me playing that at the next YCS. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's it's actually what a what a timeline. I've never was fortunate enough to witness it, but hey, we have master duels, so you know yeah. that's awesome. All right, Pop. So, what are some new cards that are in this deck right now that came out from Master that makes this deck? Insane? Yeah. What are new cards? So starting starting from like the more cheaper side. So that we have cards like Rick Cardetto, cards like Inferno and I Turpin. Those are the newer cards, right? We have the Black Witch, which is a really nice extender in the Sinful Spoils package. Uh, we have Museum, which is a not once per turn extender in the deck. Um, it's like a two. It's like a two three card plus. It's like a plus two plus three card. It's so broken. Um, and then we have the wanted package and then we also have Angelica's ring uh, to you know make the combo more uh, resilient um, so a lot of really cool stuff in the main deck got released and then in the extra deck uh, what I consider the better Eve synchro uh, Angelica the princess of noble arms she's a baddie she yo. is a absolute baddie <laughs> and honestly the, the car that makes this deck uh, you know just pushes it to the next level okay um and then of course we got the new link ones you know the this is probably the strongest link one right it's like 3000 attack link one like that's kind of <laughs> nasty so, is, it, is, um, it be, is it better link reborn or no? eh, eh, <laughs> if you can make it with level one then yeah <laughs> um but yeah this card's crazy it's it's uh if you get to summon charles that means you have three negates on the board immediately or three interruptions because it's a spell trap negate it attaches angelica which makes it a spell negate and it has the effect to equip Roland, which is a pop. So it has three of three um, interactions. So it's off one card. Okay. So what are we trying to do with this deck right here, Fox? So like, like for the new players out there, like what does this deck accomplish mm -hmm. with the resources that it has in the deck right now? Like, well, like what are you trying yeah. to do? What makes it so, so your special? End board, your end board typically consists of one or two Charles, uh, a Baron of some sort, uh, and a Gear Free. That is typically the center end board. Um, in the hands where you open Diablo Star, uh, the Black Witch, and then you open like multiple extenders, you can even make an Apollo with Promethean Princess underneath with the full uh, Link 1 boards. So it just really depends on how many extenders you open. But the cool part about this deck is it can pretty much combo always with two warriors, and we'll show that in like um, the combo piece. But if you open more than your standard one card combo, your board should always be getting bigger. Mm. And I think that if your board is not getting bigger than the regular combo, then you guys are doing something wrong. Mm. Um, but yeah, every card in the in, in the deck that is added to your hand makes your board like uh, better. But it also not only makes your board better, but it lets you play through more um, mm. interruptions uh, first or second uh, mm. because these card trades for a lot. So yeah. All right, guys. So this is the Inferno deck. Right? Let's go over it quick. So first, we're playing, of course, the Renault. Listen, we listen mm -hmm. to the comments, right? You guys wanted me, us to go over the decks. So Renault, so you guys can get a better understanding on how to probably get these cards in Master. But Renault, we got, of course, yep. Lady, Ricardetto, of course, the standard three Max C, the Dolphin. And obviously, like Pac said, guys, first turn of Zode helps you get access to the entire board, which is insane. So Dolphin and Connector, yep. not only does it get you the full board, but, you know, the hand knowledge is insane, right? Yeah. The hand knowledge is too broken. Um, and then you'll see that all the fire monsters are all one of so like you have ash blossom obviously uh we have the connector which is the normal summon the one card combo of the deck um and then all the other info noble knights that are um you know they're all toolbox mm -hmm. so that's why i have them at one there's basically a warrior toolbox deck. so we have one info knight better oger one oliver uh one turpin uh one magus right mm -hmm. so they all serve different purposes oger is a foolish burial oliver is an extender 
uh Magus is a uh resource shuffler and then Turpin is an extender so mm. those yeah. are like what the card serves in, in this deck and then you have like the black witch you know uh which is insane uh because in this deck specifically the witch has to send a card from your hand or field to the graveyard to summon itself but the reason why the Inferno Noble deck can utilize the Wanted Engine so well is because uh, a lot of the Inferno Knight monsters can equip themselves from the graveyard to warrior monsters, which means instead of sending cards from your hand and going neg one, uh, you can actually send the equips from the spell and trap zone. Um, and so you get value out of your Diablo Star engine that way. And that's, um, you'll see we, we, we uh, facilitate a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Of course, the one in Gearfried. Gearfried is broken. Mm -hmm. Rhoda, yep. of course, the chalice right here. And this is this, this is another search roll, right? It's another search roll, but there's a really cool part about this card that um, I wanted to make to point out, which is it has the ability to add um, any noble knight monster, but it can also add a noble arms card, which means it can actually add you museum. Mm. Um, and another cool part about this card is if you normally never start with this card, if you don't have to, unless you need it to start your place, because this card can add from the graveyard to your hand. So it actually is a way for you to beat Droll. Mm. So you can actually dump cards off this and then use the effect of this to like just add back from the grave to the hand. So it can combo under Droll really nicely. Wow, wow. Okay, of course, tactics. We got, of course, the, the Snake Eyes original. We got Fossil, mm -hmm. Living Fossil. We got Durandel. Yep. Uh, this is the new card, yep. right? Joyce and Almis? Yeah, Almis is the new one. Joyce has been out. Uh, Joyce lets you add back from the graveyard and there's some unique lines in which if you hard draw Rick Hardetto, uh, you can actually link off a monster and then use Joyce to special summon a fire monster from your hand. And there's some like there's a lot of like forbidden lines with Joyce. Like you can get away without playing it, but the fact that it's another unique name for a soul day in terms of equip card is really important and the versatility it offers is just too good to ignore. To ignore, yeah, opinion. exactly. And this is the new one. This card is basically counted as any infernable card because it can equip from the grave or the deck. Mm. Um, any infernable card to a monster you control. But then when you link the monster off or the monster that is equipped to this card sends to the grave, you can add any fire warrior from your banish or grave back to your hand. So it can add from the banish, which is why it's like slightly better than Joyce in certain scenarios. Mm. But Joyce can add it whenever you want. Almost requires you to link the monster off or send the monsters to the grave in order to add back. That's why they have different purposes, but they're both really, really strong. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Museum, this is the new card. This card is the one that's not once per turn that adds, right? Yes. It gives all your fire warrior monsters 500 attack, and you'll be surprised. That's really strong because let's say you play against like a sprite deck. Your Ogier is now 2,000 attack, so you can beat over a uh, defense position uh, sprite red, for example, which has 1,800 defense, right? Mm. Um, and then obviously you pay 1,200 to add any noble arms cards from your deck to your hand, so you can keep adding your equips. That's why I play minimal equips because I rather you don't want to hard open Durandal. You don't want to hard open Joyce or Almaze. You want to get them off of Museum mm. because... Um, if you apply the effect to add an equip from your deck to your hand, you can then get the effect, uh, which is uh, an extender effect, which allows you to target any Noble Knight monster in your spawn trap zone and then summon them. Mm. So it's really, really nice there. Yep. Of course, the standard call by cross off for the maxis and ashes and the yep. three wanted. Uh, of course, exactly. next extra deck, we got, of course, Captain Roland, Angelica, Charles, Baron, two Emperor Charles, two Zolde. Why is it important to play two Zolde? Uh, uh, so. A lot of times, if the first Assault Day gets stopped, you can then make a second one, which allows you to keep playing because Assault Day um, is a ignition effect to dump equips from the deck to the graveyard. Um, but by playing two, if they imperm the Assault Day on the first effect, you can punish them by summoning a second Assault Day. Mm. So I really like two. It comes up so much uh, to have two. Mm. Of course, Phoenix, Hida, uh, of yep. course, the Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Why do you play this? Yeah. So when you get warrior locked, you need a way to link off the princess, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the only fire link to that you can go into after your warrior locked while having a princess on the board is going to be ferocious swordsman. So you're going to be not only warrior locked, but also fire locked. And this is like one of the ways you can get out of the lock. Another cool part about why this card is really nice is because um, it actually, if your opponent does destroy it by battle, you can actually reborn back like Baron. You can reborn back like mm. any non-link warrior monster. So there's that play I did once where I actually crashed this card in to reborn back a gear free, then attack with gear free to take my po opponent's Borland, mm. um, which I couldn't, I didn't have a way to out it, but I like baited him um, by, by by using this card to bring back uh, the gear free. So you can bring back gear free. Yeah. Insane. Unicorn, princess, the most broken <laughs> yep. monster out here. <laughs> this card is so broken. Her with uh, is always so insane. Done. Insane. Guys, I'm holding a, a an actual one right now in my hands. <laughs> How do you guys feel? <laughs> <laughs> it's a QCR one. Yeah, we got it, bro. 
Yeah, of course, of oh, course. Like that, no, like that, like that. We might gotta get this Prometheus Princess Royal Rare in the you know say. <laughs> oh, we should, bro. We should. We should grab unlimited of I'm down. Yeah. Apollosa last and the last but not least we got the access code. Access code. Yeah. All right, guys. That's pretty much for the deck profile. Let's get started with the combos. All right. Let's get. Let's go, Pac. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Supreme Pro, the best competitive trading card game sleeves ever. Easily gliding, easy shuffling, durable and is what all the pro players use. Get yours now in a variety of different colors. It's the only protection your cards need. Visit tsx1.com now. Link in the description box below. So guys, what are you waiting for? Supreme Pros, get it today in the link down below at tx1.com. These sleeves are actually almost gone, so I um, don't know when I'm going to be restocking them, but they're almost gone. Link down below. Use the code POC10 for 10% off. All right, guys. Welcome to the combo segment of this video, POC. I'm so excited for you to showcase some crazy combos with Infernal. Yes, sir. Bro. Yo, POC, so what's the yes. first combo that we're going to showcase, bro? Bro, so we're going to show off what one connector does. Uh, this is a one-card combo in the deck. There's four copies of it in the deck with reinforcement of the army. Yes, sir. And it is insane. Like, this is what I've been doing in the, um, in person in the TCG side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I'm glad I can finally show it to you guys for the master little folks out here. Let's do it. Okay, so what do we do? Normal this guy. So we're normal summon the connector. We're going to use connector's effect to summon uh, the dolphin uh, directly from our deck. Um, and then we're gonna activate the dolphin to rip a free card out of our opponent's hand. Um, we'll just discard like anything, like six talents for sure. Why not? Oh, take a little peep under the hood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you can rip whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? Like Eden, I guess. Okay, they take 500 points of damage. And now we're gonna link both of them off into a soul day. Uh, rip Yo, a soul day. Is she banned or no? Is she banned? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought she was banned. <laughs> <Yeah. not> <laughs> oh, uh, after, uh, you know what I'm saying, after the next ban, let's just wait. <laughs> Give me a couple of weeks, for that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you use the Soul effect to add, I'll just get a free card advantage. So usually I'll add another uh, connector for follow up. Yes, sir. Uh, so it's not too bad. Uh, you can activate connector's effect here, and we're going to send four. <clears throat> okay, so I Soul effect, send four cards. Um, it's going to send four, it's going to send all the equips to the graveyard. Yes, sir. And now we're going to summon a uh, OGR from the deck. Um, and, you know, in Master Duel, the biggest difference is that we don't have access to Dempsey. Yes. Um, but that should be mitigated by the fact that we have Princess Legal with a Soul Day at the same time, which is unheard of. <laughs> um, but now we're going to special summon um, OGR and then use OGR's effect to foolish a uh, Infernoble Knight Ricardetto from our deck. From our deck, and that's gonna be that guy right there. Yes, sir. Ricardo. Yep. And now um, we're gonna link both of them off into Princess. Uh, uh, Promethean Princess. Yes, exactly. Damn, like that, like that. She, she, yeah. she, she's, she's so broken, bro. A whole goal. Yeah, though, she's this. She's so broken because not only she's an extender for the combo, but she'll be an extra interruption on our opponent's turn. Um, now we're gonna use the Promethean Princess to bring back the record out that we foolish off of Ogier. And then now our record dedo will trigger to bring back the Ogier. Mm, and, and then now mm, we have angelic access. Yep. Now, well, the whole deck's fire too, which is crazy. <laughs> the whole deck's fire, so uh, none of the restriction actually matters. Uh, but now we're gonna make uh, Angelica, and see. Angelica is like literally better Eve, no cap. Yeah, like it's... this card is so crazy. Wow. So she's gonna be able to um add a copy of infernoble arms or noble arms museum from our deck to our hand mm. uh what's really cool about angelica that not a lot of people know is that uh, she triggers on special summon so the next turn you can princess reborn angelica and trigger her vector search again she doesn't trigger on synchro summon so that's, that's like a really crazy. cool thing you should know um but anyways we're gonna activate the copy of museum and then use the effect to search a uh Durendo from our deck to our hand mm. wow. so it's a free card um, and then now we can um, actually activate the uh, effect of Ogier to target the Angelica. And wow. then we're going to chain Angelica to tag it out. And then choose Angelica to send a, uh, a Infernoble Turpin from our deck to the graveyard. Mm, so you're saying Turpin here. This is also another yep. extender for the deck. Yep, another yeah. extender for the deck. This yep. deck is complicated, also one of the bro. New cards. This deck is complicated, bro. There's so many names. <laughs> so many different things, bro. Holy smokes. My head is hurting, bro. Just listening to this. Yeah, it's a lot of different lines. Different lines. Bro, um, this, so uh, this is just a standard line. There's more lines in this, eh? Yeah, so a lot of the time you're actually freestyling. Like a lot, there's like no set combos, but there's like the one set. Like if you um, watch my streams, I literally was freestyling the entire time. <laughs> um, but now we're going to activate the effect of Infernal Arms Durendal, and we're actually going to equip it to the princess. Okay. 
Mm. Okay. And then now, because we have an equip card, uh, equipped to Durendal, we can activate the fact of Turpin to special summon itself for free. Yeah. Yep. And now we're going to summon it back from the graveyard. Yeah. Um, from here, we'll activate the effect of Durendal um, and use its effect to add a uh, Renaud from our, from our deck to our hand. Renaud's broken. That's insane. Yes, sir. Um, from here, we can then perform a synchro summon using the two monsters, and then we're going to be making Emperor Charles. Wow. Yes, sir. The big, big dogs here. Big doggy. Hey, the guy, the boy. The guy himself. And now we're going to use the effect of Captain Roland to actually equip to the, um, the Charles. And so, uh, the requirement for the Link 1, uh, is basically infernal. You don't want to use the effect now. No, you uh, don't Because want. you actually... You can actually use it after the fact. So you're going to link summon into uh, Charles, Emperor Charles. And Emperor Charles, a lot of people don't know this, but Emperor Charles copies the name and then performs the equip. So he actually can pop on resolution mm. after he equips the Charles. So you'll activate the effect of Emperor Charles here to equip the noble, yep, the infernable knight emperor, yep. And then on a new chain, we're going to trigger the effect to pop our princess because we want to make a Baron mm. and we need to no longer be fire locked, right? So we'll activate the effect of Charles and we're going to pop our oh, own wow. princess. So let's activate this effect. Oh, so this becomes Charles. That's why. This becomes Charles. And now you can activate the effect of Charles to pop our own princess. Insane. Then we can uh, special summon uh, a Renaud from our hand. And then we can use the effect to add back um, all these. From our deck to her, from the graveyard back to her hand. The all mace would be this that one. one. Yep. Wow. Uh, correct. Yep. And wow. then we're going to use the museum to actually special summon uh, back the Infernal Knight Charles. Okay. Uh, in in Simon Trap Zone. Yep. yep. Cancel. Yep. Insane. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now um, we're going to be able to uh, make, make Baron. Baron here. Jesus. Yep. yep. Wow. Of one card so, yeah, and then we're actually going to use the extra equip that we got we're going to equip the uh all mace to our charles yeah right yes yeah, so we're going to equip it to him and then at now we can proceed to the end phase and this is, this is our end board this is our end board yes it doesn't it's actually yeah. a lot of interruptions what because is this? It's, it's, it's nothing bro yeah what is this, <laughs> oh, what is this? okay so you have a baron omni negate yes Charles is a spell and trap negate, so that's two negates. You're gonna equip Angelica's ring at end phase, which is a third negate, and negates any spell. And then you have Promethean Princess, which pops a, a special summon monster. And then you have Infernal One Night Charles to non target pop another card on the field because of Captain Roland's effect. So that's already five interruptions, and you hand looped your opponent's one of your opponent's cards, so you have full hand knowledge. You know exactly what they're playing and know how exactly to interact with them at all times. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, so we get a turn. So we'll go to end phase. We'll activate the effect of Infernal Charles, yep. And then we're going to actually equip the Angelica's Ring from a graveyard to it. And then from the deck, we're actually going to equip um, a, uh, uh, a Magius. Yep. Oh. Yes. Okay, yes. Because when we negate, we can then um, send him to the graveyard and then draw, shuffle back our resources and draw a card. Wow, so yeah, this is five interruptions right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, let's, let's see how this plays out. Mm-hmm. Just negate. <laughs> yeah, this is a negate, right? Yeah, negate with Emperor Charles. Yep. And then we can send the Magus uh, in the spell and trap zone to the graveyard to yep. negate it. Um, okay. And then on a new chain, we can actually trigger. No, no, uh, no, no we don't no, want right. to chain anything to this. Yep. Yeah. And then Magus will shuffle back all of our equips. So we have an infinite grind game pretty much. Wow. Now we shuffle back all of our equips. So we can shuffle back the Banished Turpin. Uh, we shuffle back the um, the uh, Renaud, and then we can shuffle back uh, Durendal. And he draws one, right? And then we draw another card, so we can you have the ability to draw into a maxi on your opponent's turn, even, right? Wow. So call by the group, okay. And now before they leave the main phase, you can activate the. F uh, no, no, you can go to end phase actually, because at, at your end phase, the, this card is so broken because if your opponent doesn't out this, it will equip an equip card every single turn. So at, mm. at your opponent's end phase, you'll equip back a Joyous, uh, which allows you to add back any fire monster in your graveyard next turn. And then you'll equip a um, uh, Gear Freed from the deck because then you can pop the Gear Freed and, add it back. and then Baron, 
and then add it back yeah and then, and then, and then, and then now you could this triggers the pop card on the field non-targeting yep wow bro yeah wow a really cool play is that like if they ever like decide to like nib you you can use baron effect to negate nib right yeah and then you you would equip at end phase a gear freed then you would trigger uh the infernoble knight charles to pop your own gear freed and then your opponent's standby phase you activate baron's effect to tag out into the gear freed that you equip that end phase and pops this deck is insane bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> this, bro, is crazy. this deck is complicated guys honestly you guys need yeah, to learn it's complicated. from pop it's really complicated yo, guys, it's really yo, complicated I, I'm, yeah. I, yo, there's so many math equations going on in my head right now you know what i'm saying i'm just like what the heck bro like i feel like to play this deck properly you have to know how to sequence your stuff you know how to sequence like you just lose yeah 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 all right guys that's why i got pock here ladies and gents let's grab the pocket link down below pock let's yo let's hop into rank bro let's do it all right all right pock you ready for rank bro let's get it baby let's go let's do it let's, let's do go. it baby. Okay, let's bro. do it is yo is every hand combo bro what do you think uh, yeah every hand's gonna be insane bro look what? at this oh, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god bro, wait 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 how bro, good is hand? Rein... this hand is crazy so you have reinforcement of the army, which is a one card combo. And then if you get stopped on connector, you have Black Witch. Uh, Diablo Star plus, yeah, the Black Witch plus Magus, which is full combo. Because uh, when you pitch a level four fire off of uh, the Black Witch, you can set original and original sacks the Witch for Ricardetto, which is Angelica by itself. So every anytime you open Witch plus a level four fire monster, it is a one, it's a two card Angelica. So this is full combo through like a lot of hand traps. Okay, yeah. uh, let's go. So if they, if, they, if, they, if they can't stop this, they lose. Oh yeah, yes. GG. it's GG. Nice. So nice. we get connector. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's also a really a sick line that I, I can show you. Yeah, with this hand? Oh, yeah, yeah. With this hand, it's very specific. When you open connector, dolph connector into dolphin plus witch, you can actually end on an early baron because you can make dolphin a tuner using uh, a turpin secret effect. Oh, it's, it's game over. Because turpin, it's GG. Okay, dolphin. Of, uh, so I turpin like to sequence it by going, uh, witch pitch Angelica's ring. Oh, no, no, sorry. Which pitch, uh, Magus? My apologies. Right now? Right now? Before um, Dolphin? Right now. Yeah, because then you Dolphin can rip a higher attack monster. Oh, so... Okay, okay. Magus. Yep. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Pitch Magus, yep. Then you can set the OSS, aka Original Sinful Spoils. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then what's really cool about Diablo Star is that she's also uh princess is generic, so she will help you go into the princess later. Mm. But now we'll activate Dolphin's effect and then pitch the Angelica's ring, and we'll recover that back later at end phase. Off of Charles. Oh, ha <laughs> <Bro>. Oh <laughs> just rip the current cara. This is so free. Rip the current cara. You have full hand knowledge. I hope he doesn't scoop. I hope he okay, doesn't okay, scoop. Go, 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 go. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now let's let's uh link summon into a soul day. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Oh, bro, his hand was insane, bro. His hand was demon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Demon, bro. bro. Yeah, Kikara is crazy. Okay. We're adding connector, right? Okay. Yep. Effect. We're at a uh, free connect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One second, one second, one second. Let me think, let me think. You want to do connector? Equip send. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had connector. Yeah. You had connector. Yeah. connector. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> you gotta think twice. You gotta, gotta think twice. Okay, and now we're going to Soldier's Effect. We're going to mill four. Let's <clears throat> all of our equips. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to special summon uh, the boy, Oger. Card's broken. That card is so crazy. We're, we're going to use the effect, yep. Ricardetto? Yeah, we're going to send the... Wait, yeah, no, no, not Ricardetto, not Ricardetto. We're actually going to send Turpin. Okay. Kevin? Um, the reason, the re yeah, the reason why is because uh, the original sinful spoils oh, yeah, will some... get you access to it. Mm, yeah, true, true, true. Um, now at this point, um, at this point we can go into um. So in order to make the biggest board possible, I want to, yeah, I want to go into princess, um, with the infernoble knight, uh, with with uh, with black witch and the Solde. Yep. noble knight the Solde. Yep. yep. So she's a free card here. Yep. Yep. She's a baddie right there. Yes. Yes, sir. Now, okay. So at this point, you can activate the effect of uh, Turpin to equip to uh, the Ogier. Yep. And the reason why you do this is because you want to give your original sinful spoils value so now you can activate original sinful spoils and send the turpin from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard mm. 
Yeah. And then now we're gonna summon Rick Cardetto from our deck. And then this is what locks us into warriors. Mm. So that's why you want to make princess first. Yeah. Mm. And then we're gonna now we're gonna activate this effect, and we're actually gonna bring back Magus. Magus, right? The reason why is, be is because uh, I don't know if you noticed, we dumped a lot of equips and we hard drew an equip, so we're yeah. actually down equips. But Magus will actually shuffle them all back for us. And then draw a free So card. now we're gonna. Yeah. So we're making Delica. Yep. With the Magus and the Ricardetto. Yep. Insane, bro. And we're gonna go. Chain link two Angelica, chain link one shuffles back. Chain um, so ch chain link one Magus, chain link two Angelica, because you want to thin your deck out. Which one? And you want to shuffle back the All Mace, um, the, the All Mace, the Joyous, and the Durendo. All three of the equips. <clears throat> so now we have multiple equips for the deck, and it shuffles for cost. I don't know if you noticed that. It's just mm. shuffle, it just puts it back in, mm. which is kind of nice. Wow. So they will always go back into the deck. Wow. So they can't. So yeah. Wow. If they actually like, we just lose the card. We just we just don't, we just don't draw. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Insane fuck. Insane. This deck looks crazy. Now we get free draw. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. Now um we can then uh use the effect of Magus um to actually target our uh, Angelica and then we can chain Angelica to tiger out. Okay. Let's do this fast. A bit and then, fast. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. 90 seconds, baby. Yep. Let's do this. Let's do this. And what are we summoning? Uh, some, uh, we're going to send uh, Gear Freed, and then we're going to reborn it back off of Princess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why I did it this way. Yeah, uh, press yes. Yeah, we're going to summon that yeah. guy. And now we're going to use Princess to bring back the Gear Freed. Wow. Um, and now we're going to end on the, the God Board. We're going to end on Baron, Gear Freed, Double Charles, all the fun stuff. So bring back the Gear Freed. Yeah. <laughs> See, mad broken, you could do this. Yeah. Um, now we're gonna make the Synchro 9. These two, right? Yes, sir. Yep. With the Ogier and the Roland. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And then now we're gonna use Captain Roland's effect to equip to the Charles. Oh, yeah. Captain Roland. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I was oh. tripping. Uh, uh, equip to the Emperor Charles. And then we're gonna make the Link 1. Um, and then after we make the Link 1, just remember that you want to pop your Princess. Yes, sir. Uh, because so that that will allow you to make Baron later in the combo line. Because you're only locked into warriors, not fire warriors. Mm. This is pretty nice. Yep. Equip. Yep. Summon. Uh, effects. That's gonna pop our uh, princess. Then we're gonna activate the effective museum. Wow. I'll just take a screen. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna go museum's effect. That will get us the Rendol. Um, the Rendol's effect is going to equip something and search us Renard, okay? So it, it doesn't matter what so, you equip, right? No, no, it doesn't matter what you equip to. You're going to blow it up and then search Renard, yep. Okay, effect, search Renard. Wow. Yes, sir. It's like ridiculous, bro. And just, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Special <laughs> Renard? Alright, special summon the Renard, yep. Wow. What am I adding? Um, let me check your grave real quick. Uh, here, I would add a living fossil for... Oh, no, so add another Durendo back, actually. It's follow... a really good follow-up. Yep. yep. Okay, now we're going to activate the museum to summon the Charles back. And then you make Baron here. Yeah, and now you can make Baron here. Yep. Wow. Wow. Um, so you can make the Baron. And then yeah. a really nice play that you can do is uh, you can use the Ogier uh, to actually equip. Um, you can actually use the Ogier to equip to the the, uh, the Link one. And now it can't be destroyed by card effects, so Princess won't be able to destroy it. Okay, so I add my turn now, right? Yeah, and then you have a lot of follow-up. Yep. So Everything. now we can go... Yep, effect. We'll equip the Angelica's Ring. Yep. And then we'll equip a uh, Oliver from the deck so it can't be targeted. And then we'll trigger Angelica to bring yourself back. So this is like six interrupts with Maxi. Six, seven, no, it's like seven interruptions with Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Baron pop, Princess pop. Uh, Charles is three negates by itself. You have Gear Freed, Monster Negate. Because uh, the Link one is 
a spell negate, a spell trap, a spell trap negate, and a pop. Gifrey's the pop uh, negate. Baron's a negate. Prince is the pop. Then you have uh, Maxi. <laughs> it's <laughs> so, so much. The game, bro. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're playing against Super Happy. Bro, like, do you remember what, what the hand was? Do you remember what the hand was? No, we no, we no. I, I don't. I don't remember what the hand was. It, the only thing was Kurt Kara, so did, everything else is match. Just max to him and just watch him concede. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, I'm gonna show you a really sick interaction. So, when your opponent goes chain link one effect to search, you'll go chain link two princess, target your Angelica, and target a scarecrow. And then you can chain Angelica actually. Wow. Yes, and Angelica will now be come coming back for follow up. Yep. Wow, insane, bro. Yes, sir. Wow. Yep, just dump it to the grave. Tag itself out. Now she'll come back. Uh, uh, the princess does not need to destroy both monsters to summon. It only needs to destroy one. So. Wow. This still works. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, Pog, what's the next interruption that we have to use? So, like, time purposes. Yeah, so I like using my next interruption. Um, the Charles, the Link 1. So he's going to activate the bike. That doesn't do nothing. You can let that go. I, it's so You have so many interruptions. You have five negates left. You have five negates and you have a pop. <laughs> I know. Oh, jeez, jeez. <laughs> you, you only have five cards in hand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like... Yo, the only thing that can save him is if we negate everything, he activates a gauge. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, or or like he Kara Kara's us, but we looked at his entire hand and ripped to Kara Kara. Alright, so what are we doing next? Uh, that's it. Oh, so uh, We'll negate that. It's considered a spell, so, yeah. so you can actually use Charles to negate it. <laughs> and then we'll just sack a, uh, we'll just sack a, uh, any of those, one of those. Yeah. Wait, but I thought Angelica would ring the gates too as well. It would, it only negates the spell, effects. Oh. A spell or effects that would resolve, but because you need the activation, it never resolves, so you still have Angelica's negate. Uh oh, and now it's okay, okay, true, true, true. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Nah, yeah, do nothing, bro. This does nothing, bro. Just chilling, bro. Just having a good time. <laughs> what are you doing here? Negate? Okay, let, okay, on resol on resolution. So you let this go on resolution, you hold the on button and you just pop it. So you go effect of Captain Roland, equip. Oh, because he equipped his own monster, it actually triggers our Charles. Because, <laughs> yeah, Charles, I forgot that Charles uh, works on anything. Oh, it's going to chain and attack it out, but it doesn't matter. We just pop that because it doesn't target. Okay. 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 I have 10 seconds, bro. All right, bro. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, turn this shit off, know what I'm saying? All right, pop the living fossil. Nice day. It's too much, bro. Yes, Ah, uh, just let that go. Yep. Nah, just let it go. Oh shit. Angelica? Nine seconds. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this Nine is, seconds, bro. It's too much. Bro, we, we have the gear free and bear in the gates though, right? One nice, one card in hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. We bear in gear free still. What the heck, man? Bro, can this deck go second? Uh, I mean, you just play a lot of non-engine. It's like any other deck with non-engine. This board is actually disgusting, what? man. <laughs> if I could get Angelica back and, you, and you, oh, uh, what would you search? Museum again? You get Angelica back, and then yeah, you can next turn oh. search another museum. Oh, bro. But they have. <laughs> bro, you have a bro, museum yeah, on the board already. Is the connection failed? Like, what does that mean? Yeah, he, uh, the hack, the hack didn't work, bro. Oh, he couldn't so hack so fast he, enough. So he uninstalled yeah. the game, I think. I think he uninstalled. Yeah, un yeah. I mean, someone, someone has to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, Man. game number two. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. This deck is crazy. All right, Pac, here we go. We're gonna go second. We're gonna go second, bro. Like, what, what happens if we go second? Yeah, no problem. No problem. How good is his hand? This is easy. It's a hand. hand is not the greatest, but you know, we, we can make something happen out of nothing. Yeah, that's true though. If, if they don't know how to negate a card properly, like I think we can win. Oh, Sword Soul, bro. Oh my God, Sword Soul. Do you, you think we can beat it or no? Hell yeah. <laughs> that gets scary though. Oh, you open Luang. You open Luang. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, is he making early Baron? Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. So we have to right now. So we have to try to bait everything out right before we go into his old base. So if you can have his old, all we want to do. Yeah, you can also use his old to bait because in this type of hand, we have the witch as well. So. Oh, true, true, true. 
That was it? Oh, oh he, oh, he, oh, he opened it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's nice. Blackout's actually really hard to beat in this deck because removal type effects are really strong against uh, against these decks. Mm. But maybe we have a chance. Let, let's just see what we draw. Like, Talons would be a really good draw. Yeah, Talons would be insane. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. What if he doesn't search Blackout? Fuck it, you know? Hmm? Huh? What if he doesn't search Blackout, you know? For, for, for jokes. No, no, man. I'm down. Make it easier for me. Okay. Oh my God. He's going. He's he's going for a berserker. Okay. So berserker. Okay. Can we beat that? Uh, we'll try. Let's do it, bro. Let's, this shit looking, let's try. This shit looking kind of hard, hard. Okay, okay. Berserker. There's three negates. Yep. Yeah, we didn't open anything. <laughs> we only opened on we opened was like cross out, which is like uh, one of. All right, let's see it. All right, let's go, baby. Oh. Oh. Talents. Okay, that's good. So, so how would you lead this? You probably go with... Yeah, I would, yeah I'd lead with Durendo. I would lead with Durendo and I'll equip it to like Baron. Yep. Mm-hmm. Bro, if he Baron the gates there, so yeah, we can punish him with Talons. Crazy. Yeah, it'd be nice. But, uh, you would Talons take his Baron and it's a warrior, so it helps us make his soul day too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy. You can only oh bro if he still is barren and he already used used the effect right you can only use the effect oh so that means that we could use it it's own negate too as well right um nah because it, it only has this negate once a while on the field oh so it wouldn't no and then yeah, so we'll go effect add yep so there you go okay let's search ogier okay let's beat okay. him bro mm -hmm. so this is almost of an ogier oh should draw oh Wait, wait, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. I think it's fine. Okay, let's press cancel. That's okay. Okay. We used to, we used to win. <clears throat> uh, normal summon. I would normal summon OG. Damn, bro, we can play under draw? You're insane. Yeah, yeah, you I, can play under draw. I get effect? Yep. Let's do it. Damn. Oh, this not gonna be easy. But I think I have, ooh, I have, I think I have the line, actually. Bro, there's a line? Maybe, I think there is. Oh, can you break this board? You're actually the greatest player in the world. <laughs> what are we sending? Okay, so we're we're gonna send, uh, let me see the grave. So I think we'll send Turpin from our deck to the grave. Yeah? Yeah, Turpin, yeah. I like Turpin. Okay, activate fire... F activate the effect of flight to special. Yeah, he's not negating anything. Oh, okay. Let's make a soul day. Right now? Yes, let's make it now. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, I have the secret tricks. I have the tricks on my sleeve. We're gonna activate Ogier and equip it to it, and it'll make it unable to destroy my card effect, so he can't pop it with Blackout. I and Ogier. then we'll equip and yeah, equip Ogier to it. Yep. I'm gonna show you some secret techniques. I'm hidden saws. You know, Angelica's ring has another effect. What's the effect? It can, it can actually make the monster un be able to be untargetable. What the heck? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna show you. We're, we're gonna do the secret sauce. He, he, he's gonna get outplayed. What? So, Fuck, yeah, so we're, we're able to make Angelica untargetable so they can't shish out and can't black out it. Okay, so yeah, equip it. Woo! Now let's equip Angelica's ring to. to. uh, it's still there. Yep. Bro, mm -hmm. you're insane. Now? I mean, so Witch and Cross out and Talons. Yeah. Too. So we're just and using, pounds, yeah. And we have Turpin in the grave too. Oh my God, bro, we might we might break this pot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it might be doable. It might be doable. Bro. I, bro, our hands was terrible. <laughs> hands, bro, this, this guy is just not getting anything. He's just he's cooling, bro. Yeah, it's chilling. It's chilling. So I think he's gonna bear in the gate this. He might, yeah. So maybe he, like we just tactics steal what? Steal Chija, right? No. Uh, uh. Nah, we just take his Baron and then go Baron pop his stuff, right? Mm. Okay. Okay, now we activate Angelica's effect to give us 500 life points. 
and make our monster untargetable. <laughs> like, I, bro, I've read, I like learned everything about this deck. Like, it's actually crazy. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, now he's gonna change Shija to negate it. But that's fine. That's fine. That's why you play two a soul day. So you just wasted a negate for free. <laughs> You're you insane. Wasted a for free. You're insane. Yep. Wow. Yep. Wow, fuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for the free card, bro. Now we're gonna do this. Now, now we'll do this. Now we're gonna activate the effect of Turpin to equip to a soldier. Yep. Uh, okay. Second effect. Okay. And what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna send the Turpin from the field to the graveyard to summon the witch and go witch effect. Mm. And now if he barons it, we win the game. <laughs> oh what? Oh, he's gonna banish it. That's fine, right? Okay, that's that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Wait, talents take force out the Baron. Special witch is that is that my game? Am I tripping? Let me think. Let me think. Let me make sure I'm not buggy. So I want to go talents take. What's that? Wait, are you sure? Wait, 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 wait. Let me think. Let me think. So if I summon witch, if I summon witch. They have to bear negate. Then I go bear and take. Then I pop the back row. I make another assault and I should win. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, let's right. go. Let's go. Witch. Let's go. Witch. Sack the cross out from her hand. Yeah. 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 They go effect. He has to stop this. And then witch effect. Oh my god, we're actually about to do it. Oh my god, we're about to do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yo, let's go. Yes. Bro, if, bro, now, bro, now? if that's a black yeah. one, we lose, though. No, it's it's fine. No, no, no. He can't target a soul day. Tar a soul day can't be targeted. Or destroyed by card effects. But it's so we go talents. It doesn't matter because we take his Baron and pop the then uh, pop the back row, and then and then we make another soul day with the Baron. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Wait. Two cards your opponent controls. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. <gasps> oh. He doesn't know we can't be targeted. Yes. <laughs> Fuck! Yo! You're insane! Now we take Yes, now we take the Baron. Okay, you take the Baron. Pop the Berserker. You go Baron? Baron, pop the Berserker. Make another soul <laughs> bear! <laughs> That's a bear! That's a bear bear! That's a bear bear! That's a bear! It's it's a warrior monster. Fuck, you're insane. Yes. Fuck, you're insane! What the hell? Yo guys, that was that, that was beautiful. Fuck. That, that was, was beautiful. beautiful. Fuck, that's a Mare Mare in hand. Bro, and, and, a... and we're under Droll, bro. We're under Droll too. Okay, let me think of the combo not line from here. Uh, oh. Let me check the Grave in the Banish real quick, because I have to make sure. Okay, Grave, Banish, So we have Turpin in the Banish. Okay, let me see the Grave. So we're under Droll, so we can't add. We do have the thing in the Grave, so what we could do is... You broke the board, see, bro. So... You broke the board, bro. That's all that matters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the line, I think. Okay, 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 I have the line! You have the line! We're gonna mill... We're gonna mill one. We're gonna mill one. What? Only one? We're... Yeah, it's the only one. It's only one. Only one. It's okay though. Please. We're gonna send uh let's send living fossil to the grave. Okay. And we're gonna summon We're gonna summon Rick Cardetto, but we're not gonna use the effect. What why not? Because uh because we're gonna make princess now and then bring it back, then trigger it. Oh you're freaking <laughs> insanity fam. Yeah. Yo, you're, 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 bro, you're, bro, yeah. yo, bro, bro, the Pharaoh's messing with the goat right now, bro. You're messing, yeah. you're messing with the goat right now. You're messing with the goat right now. And then we activate Princess. I'm right? messing with her. Activate Princess. That was beautiful. Princess will bring back Rick Cardetto. Wow. This is textbook. And then Rick Cardetto effect will bring back the Ogre. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, from here. So we know there's Mary in hand, so we need to beat any of his top decks, right? Yes. So all we need to do is let me double think real quick. Angelica. Yep. And then I would um link off. Oh, let's go to battle phase first and swing for damage. Oh yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yep. Okay. And yep. now we'll make the uh the, the flame swordsman link too. And next turn the princess will bring back the Angelica and trigger Angelica for us. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we have a princess pop if he special summons anything. Oh, and by the way, what's really nice is he can't just go battle phase and beat the over that, by the way. Because 
If he destroys it by battle, it can actually bring back any warrior in our graveyard. That's not a link oh, monster. Oh, so, okay. So if he goes Moye summon thing, we just pop... Uh, pop the, the token. token. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yep. So, wow, and, the, and the next turn... Okay, yeah, on Resolu Okay, we pop that for sure. Pop that for sure. Pop that for sure. And he has nothing. Because we know the last card is... Uh, we know the last card is Mimir, Mimir, right? Yeah. Wow, this game. Wow. Yeah. That was beautiful. And the next turn, you bring back Angelica. That, this, yeah. is, this is real Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. That was freaking beautiful, bro. Oh, that was insane. Yeah. Yeah, now he's scooping that down, That was bro. nasty. That was, that was nasty. Wow. That was probably one of the best. <laughs> that was one of the best things I ever witnessed in my entire life. Holy oh. shit. Oh. Okay, so now this is the combo I want to showcase. Promethean Princess, bring back Angelica, trigger Angelica. Mm, it my, is so broken. Oh my Not a lot of people know you could do this, though. But, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm actually amazed, bro. This is, this is the deck. Yep. Holy and that's why we made Angelica the last turn. So now we put it in the graveyard for this play. Yeah. Right, so we just... At activate the. Uh, we can do it. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. yeah active we... museum. Yeah. We say. Yeah, well, we're just chilling. Active museum. Yeah. At, at what? Durando. Yeah. Get get the Rendo for fun. For, yeah. For jokes, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's act, activate Oger. Target the Angelica. Tag it out. Bro, can we just like just build the board for jokes or no? Yeah, we can. Right, let's yeah. build the board. Let's build the board. Let's just build the board for fun. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, bro. Wow, that's, that was one of the most insane. What do we summon? Yeah, nice. send, you send, uh, you send uh, the, the homie, uh, Gifried. Okay. Mm hmm. Summon, of course, Captain summon. Roland. And then now uh, we can activate the Durendo. Yeah, bro. This is just literally just off one card princess follow up. It's insane. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, one, one card princess follow up. Yeah. Durendo effect. Yeah, what are we adding? Renault? Uh, that uh, Renault, yeah. Uh, special Renault. Yeah. <clears throat> Renault effect is gonna add back uh You're the Oger from Oger. the grave back to our hand. Okay. And then we're gonna normal summon it because we haven't normaled yet. Wow, my God. <laughs> I'll use the effect. Uh, that will send us the Magus. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Magus will then activate the shuffle. Which one? Uh, we'll put back. Uh, we put back Ricardetto because we we want to summon back off Arizo. We put back the Turpin from the Banish. We put back Wonderendo. <clears throat> this deck is crazy, bro. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's gonna get crazy. I'm not even done yet. Oh. This, is, this, is jo this is jokes. Now we make the Secret Nine. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Your shots are fair out of not for not quitting, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's actually insane. Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna equip to him. Rolling? I'm rolling, yeah. And yeah. then you make Charles and you pop Promethean, right? Yeah, make Charles pop Promethean. Uh, does it all matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay. Mm hmm. Wow. The fact they can build a board like this on the follow up is insane. After cracking an entire <laughs> board, bro. We cracked an entire board and now we're building another board for jokes. Yeah, we're building build another board for fun. Wow. And then now we'll use the uh, museum to summon back to Charles. And this actually doesn't lock us because we control Charles. It only locks you while you don't control him. Yeah. Make Baron? Uh, um, now you can, uh, well, there's so, yeah, you can make Baron. Uh, you can activate Wanted. Uh, you can. What would you do? <laughs> you can do uh, let me see your graveyard real quick. I just want to see something. Uh, um, I think you have the thing to target to equip. You have that. Okay, yeah, I would activate wanted. Yeah. Just for jokes. Mm hmm. Yep. Get the witch. Done witch. Yeah, so, uh, now you want to sack the witch, uh, sack the ash blossom for the witch. Yep. Yep. Yep, we go witch effect. Get original. And then we have we have a fire flint lady in our grave, right? Yes. I believe. Yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh let me think. So you make that, make another link one, bring that back, sack that, do no, no, that, bring no, that, no. Eat yeah, yeah, that yeah. into that. Okay, okay, okay. Now you're gonna equip uh activate the equip the Magus to equip to the noble knight. We're gonna make the god board. Which one? The 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 low one to the left. Yep. That one. Okay. And then now we're gonna make make another link one. 
Okay, I'm 20 doing seconds. these combos in my head, guys. You know what I'm saying? Shit's not easy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so then do that. Okay, and then equip the Charles. Yeah. And then, and then on resolution, you're gonna activate original, sack the Charles from the spell and trap zone, summon Rick Cordetto. Rick Cordetto, summon back the fire flit. Yes, sir. And then you have uh, one plus one plus one plus seven, which is a Baron. Wow. I'm saying quick, quick math. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. One plus one, one plus one. one, plus one. Wait, wait, I can't. What do you mean? I can't make it. Oh, wait. Do we not have Baron? Are we locked? No, no, we don't. We don't, bro. It's too, too many tuners. Oh, Ricker has a tuner. <laughs> Quick math failed. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Ah! Wow. Ah. That was, bro. That was one of the most beautiful Yu Gi Oh I've ever seen in my entire life, Bob. That's Yu Gi Oh, baby. That's what I was doing to my opponents, you know, saying I watched the Bologna. I didn't win that many dice rolls. <laughs> bro. You played, bro. We played through Droll, Blackout, yeah. Chi Zhao, <clears throat> Baron, Berserker, five negates with a with a with, with a shitty hand. Yeah, it was a terrible hand. But, but we use all of our cards to their maximum potential, right? Like that's the most important part about Yugi. You have to use them to their fullest potential. Wow. Like we use the other effective Angelica's ring that no one ever knows about, right? Wow. We, we use Ogre, we use Turp, we use everything. Bro, that was insane. That was act, bro. That was so beautiful. Pog. <laughs> Amazing, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gents, subscribe to Pog. I'll leave his link in the description box below. Let's go. You guys already know Pog is part of Team Samurai. You know what I'm saying? You guys want to learn say? more. You guys want to learn more. Some crazy. Wow, bro. I was. That was beautiful. Like, I, I, like, that was like. That was like. <laughs> that was like, bro. Like, we did surgery. Like, yes, we actually. Sir. We actually did open heart surgery. On your boy. Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gents. This is how to play Infernobles 2024. This is your boy Sam and Pog signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Peace.